the reigning MVP says high level. Those numbers on your screen, that's all-star level. Career high in points, career high in assists. And on this show, we always say we're taking it to the max. Whenever we talk to Tyrese Maxey, let's welcome in the fourth-year, 23-year-old. What's up, my friend? What it do? What How does it, it do? feel that when people introduce you now, they say all-star caliber player? When you do get that nomination and are called an all-star, what would that mean to you? Uh, you know, honestly, for me, it would mean that we're doing something right as a team. You know, it means we're winning. It means that we have a chance to do something special. Uh, I feel like you don't get those accolades or, you know, those recognitions unless you're winning. So I think we're doing something good right now. On this show, you get the assist to Candace next. Great, oh, great, okay. great. I get the pass well, I mean, to you. You already have a ball. I mean, you I'll know. just go like that. Okay, there, there we go. go. There we go. Um, you know, obviously, coming into this year, uh, your role got bigger. And with that, your leadership got bigger. How right. is it to, to, to come out and perform the way that you have performed, but then also have the confidence of a Joel Embiid that has been MVP, right. has played with amazing guards, but to have that confidence from him, that's got to feel amazing. It feels great. I'm not going to lie, I started early, early in my career. You know, people don't know this, but like, like I tell everybody, he's like one of the um, – First believers in me, honestly. I think uh, I tell the story frequently now. It was a game where he sat out. We had the COVID situation going on, and he asked me, like, can you get 40 tonight? And I'm like, it's like my 10th game in the NBA. I'm like, 40 points? That sounds like so many. Like, I barely got that in high school. But I went out there, I ended up with, like, 39. I'm like, well, if Joel believe in me, then I think, you know, I think I can do something right. But uh, I just really appreciate him. He pushes me. He pushes me. And I think that uh, now that I've kind of gained his respect, I'm allowed to kind of push him as well. So it's been great. I appreciate him. Everybody talks about your work ethic, and they all talk about how great of a teammate you are and your attitude. Can you speak to the young kids out there how important that part of the game is, like being a good teammate? How, have you always been like that? Yeah, I think it's extremely important. Uh, my dad was a coach growing up. You know, he played Division I basketball, so uh, I had to be extremely coachable. And he was always on me, so I, you know, I felt like I was that, you know, the coach on the court for him. And for me, I just always want to uplift my guys, uplift my teammates, uh, whether that's just positive attitude, whether that's just going at them in practice, whether that's us competing in practice or us hanging out off the court. Uh, I feel like you can't go to war and can't go to battle with somebody if you don't really know them. And uh, I try to get to know everybody on my team, everybody in the organization, so I really know them that we can go out there. That way we can go out there and be successful on the court. All right, listen, so we know it's a make or miss league, right? Very. Shoot the three, shoot the three well with the best of them. But you also finish down here with the best of them. Uh, we work out with a trainer, Chris Johnson. Yep. Got to give uh, Chris Johnson Got some to. love. And, you know, I want to talk about the levels of finishing because right. you've taken your finishing to another level this season. Last year, you were at 58%. This year, you're finishing amongst the best at 64% around this here rim, right? Yep. Seven footers in there trying to block your shot. So I'm going to throw it a little assist. Oh, okay. And let's talk about a little bit of the level. So we've caught seat. You know, CJ right. talks about the level right. one. Right. Level two is right where the right. square is. Level three is high up. Yep, now, yep. we know, you know, Jamal kind of perfected that. He was a little the bit. Of the oh, of it. He's doing it different. He's Listen. doing it different. So what can you say about your finishing and how you continue to improve right, that? Right, right. First of all, like you said, shout out to Chris. Uh, he's somebody who taught me, like, the levels of the backboard. But as a kid, I will give a shout out to Kyrie because Kyrie does a drill where he's standing at the goal and he's using his wrist work, you know what I mean, and just finding a touch on the glass. So now for me, I just know, like, if I get any type of contact, I know the levels of the, you know, the rim that I can put the ball to and spin it to where I can have it, give it a chance to go in. So honestly, man, it's just a lot of work, a lot, a lot of work. I do a lot of finishes off the right, right, left, left, just because I'm smaller. Um, I knew I was going to be small at a young age. You know, my dad's small, my mom's small. Uh, and this, you know, God blessed me with this height. So, I mean, this is great. But I, I just knew I was going to use floaters, use touch shots, do different bank, uh, bank shots, and it works for me. Can we see one or two? I, I see you keep looking at the backboard. Right? I'm trying to see what you're looking no, at. I was, just see one to, or two? I was just trying to see the angle. Oh, okay, of it. okay, okay. <laughs> you ain't got to show us too much. I no, saw no, that no, one. But, All right. but no, that, that level right there, that third one, no, I, it's. Oh, you got that too. One? You got yeah, it. Yeah, too. it's just right. a. Little spin. Right there, you that's know, that's the finisher right uh, there. Uh, that's the finisher uh, right uh, there. You know, so we see it here, but how about some of the moves we've seen you do in games? We got Jamal, who is a master of the best right. moves on the floor. Right. Last week, we were watching your game, and it was like, oh, the move against the Bulls. Mm -hmm. where you go baseline, crossover, and reverse. Jamal, tell us what you think of some of these moves. Yeah, that's the that's, killer crossover. He hit the step back on Dame. Everybody knows Dame likes to step back right here to change the pace. 
He put him in jail right there, got the floater. And then it's the way he's dancing. The defender's That's reacting the one. to him. That's the one right That's there. That's the one. So, so, so like a move like that one. Can we demonstrate that? I'll be the defender because I ain't playing no defense. They're going to help. Right, tell right, us, tell right. us what you're looking at. Tell us what you're looking at. Tell us what you're looking at. Tell us what you're looking at. Well, I, I'll at say that this. Moment. I'll say this. First and foremost, I'm trying to get low. Okay. I play with the MVP. He has a lot of gravity, right? So they don't want me coming off his screen because if I get to come off, pocket passes, all those type of things. So they're for trying sure. extremely hard to get over. Right. So for me, I could use speed. So I'm saying just one little jab. I'm jumping, you're gone. I'm crossing. Now we get down here, like we talked about finishing stuff. Honestly, I just I just use my instincts. You know what I mean? The guy comes over. I'm already trying to see DeMar coming low, man. I know DeMar is very athletic. I'm trying to go around him. I don't want to go through him. He's going vertical. They're not going to call foul. I'm going all the way around to the other side, using my levels and my touch. It's I love beautiful. it. All what right. a, big game moments. Show me, show me your go-to move. Let's Big go game top. moments. What's your area? Where you like to be? Tell, show me what's going on. Well, for me, if I get an ISO situation, I like to find my way into this slot. This slot? Why this slot? Because I can. Dang, I got to tell you all my street. Now, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. Wait, wait, wait tomorrow. Come on, But listen, though, but seriously, though, but seriously, though. I like, because for me, I talked to James Harden a lot when he was on our team, right? Okay. And he had a lot of different go-to moves. And a lot of his setups start with between the legs. Mm -hmm. So for me, because I can go between and I can use my quickness, that little hesitation helps me a lot to get downhill. So now if I have a big on me and they're sagging off, I can use that for the hezzy stack, mm -hmm. come back, and I get back to my little pullback, my little James Harden step back. Shout out to James because he perfected that and I kind of stole that from him. So let me ask you this because, I mean, we all are very prideful of our, you know, universities. Jamal was celebrating uh -oh. yesterday Champion. because of Michigan. Champion. And I was like, all right, you can greet me Tennessee, you know what I'm saying? You got Tobias, you. Tobias Harris on your team. We rock. You know, Rocky Top. Y'all, y'all close. But <laughs> but Kentucky guards right. have put the NBA on complete notice. And my 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 brother's GM, so I always tell him if you're if you're gonna bet on something, you should bet on a Kentucky guard. Can't go wrong. What can you say about that development? I mean, you guys seem like you guys have great development going right. into college, but right. then you explode when you get to the NBA. Honestly, I just think Coach Cal does a really good job of pushing us. Um, I was telling somebody the other day, for me, uh, he just did a really good job of making basketball different for me. Uh, I think basketball growing up, I was blessed to have a lot of opportunities and a lot of love and a lot of different things where I worked my way up to the top and basketball came easy to me. Uh, when I got to college, he was able to challenge me. He did different things in practice where he challenged me and then in the game, he challenged me to be better. And I think that is why guys like myself, guys like Jamal, guys like De'Aaron, guys like Shea, I mean, I can go to, you know, the list goes on and on. Uh, when they get to the league, they excel because one, he pushed you in practice and then you have somebody else there pushing you. Shout out to Quick, he was the one pushing me. So it's like, you see us when we get out here, we're not afraid of anything, and we know that we're going to try to go take the moment. I'm mad. I just helped Cal recruit. Yes, you did. Oh, oh yeah, you did. Like, oh, yeah, you did. Oh, oh, like, what did I do? Game winner. You got to take Candace. a shot on the court. Where's your game winner? Your spot. Oh, I get a shot? You get a shot you for get a game shot winner at to end it, A real baby. shot? A real shot. A real Ain't no shot. pressure. <laughs> no, Ain't no pressure. We just talked about Just take that jumper. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to go. I'm going to shoot a three. You're going to shoot a three? I'm going to shoot a three. Okay. College three. Oh, you're getting back there. Okay. Okay, there's light. Two step. Oh, <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. He gets oh, another chance. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't right now. We still believe in you, Tyrese. He got fouled. He got fouled. I can't afford to break nothing right now. I can't afford to break nothing right now. I can't afford to break nothing right now. All right. We appreciate you, my friend. No, I appreciate you. All-star Tyrese Max. That's what we're saying. Putting it on it.